Spring is the season of new beginnings and transformation. Our bodies naturally sense an opportunity for a fresh, clean start. And eating in-season foods will help your body adjust to the changing climate and defend itself against illnesses that are typical at this time of year. Trudy Stone is here with the scoop. Trudy, what is the first thing we should do to break away from our winter eating patterns? We need to be experimental, Tracy. So try different fruits and vegetables. In the winter, we tend to gravitate towards the same fruits and vegetables, which means we're getting the same nutrients in our body. So try adding different things. Like for example, in the springtime, I like to add in microgreens, and that way you're gonna give your body some different nutrients as well. You also wanna push aside that salt shaker, Tracy, and flavor your foods with those spring herbs. So think things like chives or rosemary, even dill as well. And Tracy, actually, I think you're a huge fan of dill. Is that right? I do. I do. I love dill. Is it good for me? Yes, absolutely. And more importantly, it adds a lot of flavors to your dish. So to make sure that I'm getting all of my bases covered, to make sure I get my body's daily vitamin needs, I really like Jameson Multivitamin 100% complete. So just take one a day with your meal as part of your routine. And you're going to get over 100% of your body's daily vitamin needs as recommended by Health Canada. And I also have to say, Tracy, I love that Jameson has been supporting Canadians for over 100 years with a broad range of supplements for every life change and change in seasons. It's pretty incredible, 100 years. So your next tip, super important, Trudy, and it's all about the nutrition you need to help lower your inflammation. That's right, Tracy. And there's a key nutrient that not only helps to reduce inflammation, but also helps to promote heart health as well. And those are omega-3 fatty acids. So there's three different types of omegas. You have omega-3, omega-6, and omega-9. Omega-9 has also been linked to heart health as well. Now, many of us are getting way too many omega-6s, but not nearly enough omega-3. So when I wanna switch things up a little bit and use something instead of rice, I love adding in cauliflower rice. And the bonus here, Tracy, is that cauliflower rice is way quicker to cook than regular rice. So I love adding it in this brain boost bowl and it's so simple to whip up. So the first thing I do is roast my favorite vegetables. Whatever vegetables you like, maybe this is an opportunity to try those in-season vegetables. So the first thing I do to the bowl is I'm gonna add my cauliflower rice. And when I cook this Tracy to add some flavor, I'll add in some rice vinegar, a little bit of cilantro and some salt and pepper. And that's gonna give it a nice pop of flavor. And then next I'm gonna add in those roasted veggies. And I'm gonna throw in some chickpeas too because this is a great source of fiber. So we'll add that in there. And I also like adding in like a nice marinade to bring all of the flavors together. So I have one here which uses miso as the base and that's actually really great to support your gut health as well. So once I put that in there, Tracy, I just mix everything together in the bowl. And I'm a huge fan of garnishing my dishes. So I like adding a pop of color with some purple cabbage to give it some crunch and some additional vitamins as well. But if I don't have time to make my brain boost bowl, then I love adding Jameson Extra Strength Omega-3, which helps to reduce cholesterol and it also helps to promote heart health as well. And it's made from a premium fish oil that's been purified to remove those toxins. And the best part is that there is no fishy aftertaste. Okay, really good. And that brain booster looks delicious as well. Okay, so your next tip has something to do with moving our bodies a little bit. What else do you suggest for us? Tracy, you want to move your body to cleanse those lymph. So your lymphatic system is kind of like your body's sewer system. So it is really critical to your health. So your heart pumps blood, but your lymph system requires movement, that muscular movement to move those fluids throughout your body. So take advantage of the spring and get outside for a stroll or for a bike ride and just watch nature reawaken. It's a great time to be more mindful. And in fact, that's actually what makes spring one of my favorite seasons because I have this huge tree outside of my window. I love seeing the buds start coming out and the grass starting to come up through the ground. What about you, Tracy? What's your favorite season? My favorite season is summer, hands down. I'm just waiting for <laughs> bikinis and heat. That's all I need in my life. And going to the beach with the dog and it's warm, but spring is the prelude to that. So I will take spring. Yeah, it's kind of like the warm up, right? It gets you excited. And then when you're outside, Tracy, you're also going to get some sun. And the sun actually helps your body to make vitamin D. And vitamin D helps to support your immune health. So it's an important one. And about 30% of Canadians are deficient in vitamin D. Uh, people with darker skin tones, as well as the elderly, tend to be the most deficient. 
So to make sure that I get my daily vitamin D3, I love adding Jameson vitamin D3. So not only does it help to support your immune health, it also helps to support your bone health as well. And it helps with the absorption of calcium and phosphorus. And it's delicious. I take the Jameson D3 uh, gummies, so it's yummy. It's like a little candy every morning. Okay, Ooh, last but not least, let's nice. talk about our digestive health. What do we need to know? Yes, this is another important one too, Tracy, because we are just so busy crossing all of those things off of our list and also eating on the go. And this may actually impact your digestive system. Now look, I have a confession. I am the slowest eater amongst all my friends and family. I always finish dead last. And my brother-in-law usually asks me, do you even know what hot food tastes like? <laughs> <laughs> but it turns out there's some benefits to me eating slowly. So family, listen up, okay? Because mus a mechanical breakdown is that first step in digestion. So your saliva contains amylase, which is an enzyme that helps to break down starch before the food hits your stomach so that you actually digest your food better. So what I want to encourage you to do is to chew your food at least 20 times before you swallow and this is going to help that digestive process to start and you may actually find that your foods digest a little bit easier as well now another way you can support your digestive health is with the addition of probiotics and probiotics are good bacteria that support your gut health so to ensure that I'm supporting my gut health adequately, I love adding Jameson Probiotic 10 billion. It contains 14 unique probiotic strains providing 10 billion active cells. And because there's so many different probiotics out there on the market, I really love that this one is True ID certified, which is a marker of that ingredient authenticity, which just simply means that what you see on the ingredient label is actually what's in the bottle. Oh my gosh, great tips. You gotta love family. Do you even know what hot food tastes like? That's <laughs> so funny. Right, <laughs> right, don't listen up. <laughs> Trudy, thank you so much for us, so good. She's helping us step into spring arm with this uh, great nutrition guide.